After a night of rain, floods, and tornadic activity, Hernando County is working to move forward. And ABC Action News in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline has been in that community for the last two days. She joins us now with a look at how those who live there are taking their first steps towards normalcy. The incredible power of wind and water was on full display Wednesday in the aftermath of Idalia in Hernando County. So it was pretty deep if I was able to kayak, you know what I mean? Leaving some, like Caroline Cook, to make the best. It was actually really fun. <laughs> I recommend. Of the destruction. So, I mean, it was really sad. I felt like I've lived here my whole life. It's just like your childhood's kind of being like torn down, you know what I mean? And it's destruction that revealed the even more powerful force of Community Wednesday. You could smell wires burning. In fact, at first I thought it might be an electric car or something. As neighbors fought post-storm flames in a vacant home using an airboat and a pressure washer. They got it where it was kind of staying under control. And I'll tell you, they saved this whole block because the way the smoke was shooting uh, north, it would have gone house to house to house to house. And while some might call it superhuman, it was pretty cool. You had like a little superhero coming down the road. Others say in Hernando County, it's just what you do. We're here to help each other. We do all we can for each other. It's all we got. And of course we know, despite that resiliency, it's going to take the county some time to bounce back and to help folks with that. County leaders say they're partnering with the state and federal government to help people assess the damage in the coming weeks. In Spring Hill, with photojournalist Josh Woodston, I'm in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline.